Good morning, everybody. Stacking my dough, doing my thing, making the pizza. Well, you, you, you know. <sighs> I got a little story I want to share with you guys today, and it's, it, as always, it's right in line with my topic. Uh, I'm going to do my very best to never break that kind of a chain. I, uh, the one thing that I know I genuinely have to offer this world is the hardest thing to sell it. But I'm gonna try. Um, I knew this lesbian couple, and after a message, I just said, we're not gonna use their names. And they were good friends of mine. They were the most misunderstood people, just as individuals. It has nothing to do with their, with their sexuality, just as individuals. They were very misunderstood people. One of them had been through some of the worst things that you had not, and she had been raped, she had been mistreated by men, and it gives you a feeling of cliche, of course she didn't, no, absolutely not. The reason why she, she was lesbian before men ever got a hold of her, and she knew it. And then the other side, she actually lived a very normal life, and her family was, was super proud of her up until the day that she admitted to them that she wasn't straight, and then they stopped and they stopped including her. Uh, I was, I was kind of close with them because, I, well, to be honest with you, I was working at a weed dispensary at the time, so you can draw your own conclusions. But when they were together, they were good. They were good for each other. And I don't just mean, like, it, they, you know, they had that fiery love, you could see it, and, and that's the way that relationships should be. But they honestly cared. <clears throat> Because they would reach into each other's lives for a second. When they saw one starting to commit to a negative behavior, maybe buying something they know they don't really need, or, for, I mean, from the smallest to the biggest, they tried to push each other in the positive direction. And that's what a relationship should be, regardless of the, uh, of the people who are part of it. Don't get me wrong. My personal beliefs, there's no way that the world can continue without men and women having children. But there is a desperate need for more couples like this. Because they actually help me prove and they, that love is the answer. They help all of us remember that love is the answer. Because no matter what you've been through or where you're from, love is something that we all have in common. We just forgot because we're showing so much hate all the time. We've got, we've got that in common too. Some people will never talk to me again because they saw the depth of my rage and it scared them and it scared me and that it's a terrible thing. Everybody has that about them and you may not see it the same way, but it's there. And that rage, that rage builds from all, the, every time you do a thing you know you don't really need to do or that is just helping somebody do something toxic or you're... The, the, it gives you that empty feeling inside. It's like you know that didn't matter because some corporate guy is just going to put it in his bank account or whatever. Whatever it may be, you know that it, it wasn't the way it should have been. And you don't know why, but it just felt a little bit empty. Money. Because there was a time... You see, before money, there were doctors. Before money, there were, you know, for the time, the most current technologies. Now... I'm not telling you money is always and has always been a monstrous, terrible thing. Money was a tool. It took time to perfect, just like the hammer, the screwdriver, any other tool. It took time to perfect it and make it better and better and better. But eventually, it became poison. Just like feeding your 10-year-old formula. It's not good. They grew out of that. And we've all seen what technology can provide us. Capitalism was one of many systems that applied money that gave us a reason to get up and stand go. And, and the reason being is because all we knew was the natural world. We only had trees, rocks, caves, shacks, the, the things you can do with a, a kind of Amish life almost. And there were plenty of us that were, that were trying to develop new things. I mean, to have Da Vinci, I mean, the Aristotle, there... Uh, the, 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 the farther back you go, the closer you will get to a person who understood what things were truly meant to be, because they were closer to what it was when it started. We are going to change this world, but 
only if we don't destroy it. And as it as it's going right now, we're going to destroy it. Every single tanker floating in the ocean right now, waiting and waiting for years at a time with these products on it, it it's just so bad. It's just so bad. 30% of the world's yearly used resources are burned up and wasted just trying to propel the financial system. Oh, well, this, this was worth $100,000. It's been sitting for two years. You could take it for ten. Like, it, you, you would call that, except it's so old now, it's not what it was before. You just sold me junk. Like, the point being that money creates a lot more problems than it solves. That's why the government is in over its head right now. I'm not telling anybody that they've done anything wrong. Nobody has done anything wrong. I'm just trying to get us to put down the bottle. 